everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL. This is uh, episode 16, part 2 with the Stealth Cruiser. We're just on Sector 5 here. And thankfully, well, I'm assuming most of you are joining me from just a second ago, so you don't need a recap. But if, if you do, we have zero fuel by jumping to the store, but luckily this store has fuel on it. Uh, there's nothing really we can buy here. We'll probably at this point want to sell our hull laser. Fires two, but the dual lasers fire two as well. Um, and so let's be honest, to do damage, all we really need is this glaive beam, man. The glaive beam is going to do all we need it to do. If we get a small bomb that only takes one power, it's actually kind of good. We could use the small bomb to do things like um, maybe take out enemy shields a little bit. It does two system damage and 30 crew damage. If we take out the shields a little bit, that gives glaive beam a chance to get through. So I actually think we will sell mini beam and hull laser, and this will be our arsenal. We can only have three weapons. Glaive beam takes a F ton of power. Um, this is fine. And we actually have 77 scrap. What the heck do we do now? Second bar of shields probably has to be a priority. Better hacking has to be a priority. We still only have four fuel, which is actually kind of comical. Did I not buy all of it? I thought I bought all of it. If I didn't, I apologize, and I'm a real dumb person. But um, So here, you know, you know the rules here. You know, it's actually maybe best for us to not even use our cloak until they fire once. I'm still kind of up in the air about our cloaking situation and whether or not it's... I mean, we're not going to use it until they fire that um, that big laser, of course. But also, keep in mind, we do have... Um, oh, that was uh, bad timing. We do have um, that Zoltan energy shield, so it's hard enough just for them to do anything to begin with. But land two shots in here, hopefully. One of them missed, but that's okay. Glaive Beam doesn't give any shit at all about uh, one miss. One bar of shields, it will cut through as if it was not even there. And that's going to make it very difficult for them to do basically much of anything at all. And I still don't know, and I, I really need to figure this out, and it's not like I can just go look it up on a wiki or something, like well, I could have in that like time when I uh, left for a second to get an extra cup of coffee during the, the break period, but um, I, I, I don't know what the glaive beam cuts through, so let's actually just take a second and wait. Just slow it down. They have two bars of shields now. Will Glaive Beam cut through two bars of shields? Yes! Oh my god, it goes around as if the shields are not even there. Um, that's that's very nice. There we go. We've actually managed to hurt them even a little bit more. We could cloak, but there's no reason to until they can actually do damage to us. It just, I mean, it just slows us down, basically. So, um, they're, they're screwed. They're going to probably die on the next hit. Even if, the, even if the dual lasers don't hit them, Glaive Beam will tear them apart. Um, Glaive will tear us apart again. There's my uh, second Joy Division episode, or second Joy Division reference. It is many videos. I, I should probably start moving a little further towards the end, because I need to see if there's another store, because our fuel supplies are so low. Um, they have cloaking. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, I, have, I have cloaking as well, so... We're basically just going to wait until... They come out of cloaking, and then we're going to cloak. There you go. They didn't even get a chance to shoot. I guess I should have waited till their laser shot, but it's such a, a puny little shitty laser that I don't even care. And again, we still have this hacking unit that we haven't even touched yet. Why haven't we touched it? There's just actually no point right now. Uh, when instead of doing that, we could just wait. Oh, that sucks, actually. Uh, our, our dual lasers will have a chance to recharge. I'm mostly worried about this beam cutting through my energy shield, and it did do four damage to our energy shield, which is pretty nasty. I know that we could use Glaive Beam to get through their shields as if they weren't even there, but I think instead I'd rather have dual lasers hit first, just so that when we hit them, we can make sure, you know, it's for keeps. So, oxygen, engines, shields, weapons. Uh, yeah, they, I don't blame them for wanting to surrender right away. Their cloaks will still be uh, available for now, uh, but we'll fire on those now just so they don't have another chance. That'll take those completely offline, and they're fucked. They're, they're totally screwed. We'll fire on the clone bay just in case we have a chance to do a non-lethal takedown, but that's not really what the, the glaive beam is designed for. The glaive beam is designed for super lethal takedowns, and there it goes. So that will be some more scrap for us, and it, it's a lot of scrap, but I don't want to spend it yet because I want to get to a store and see if there is a chance for us to buy some more fuel. Uh, how amazing would a weapon pre-igniter be in conjunction, asteroid field, we don't want that, uh, in conjunction with a glaive beam. That would be incredible for us. Uh, sure. We actually just got a pilot crew member. It's better than our existing crew member, so, or ex our existing pilot, I should say, so, sure, you know, why don't we have, like, a second person in the weapons room, I guess. Um, free crew member's fine. There's a distress beacon and a store. I like our chances here. And really what I want at this point, besides second level of shields, 
Um, his mental state is questionable. Let's bring him back. Why not? Doesn't look like he's gonna. He died. Whatever. Um, that seems a little insensitive, but stealth weapons or weapon pre-igniter or both would be ideal here. Zoltan shield bypass. We already have too many augments. Um, Zoltan shield bypass isn't worth anything. Uh, scramble enemy ships FTL computers. These actually seem like pretty terrible upgrades, but we obviously need all the fuel we can get. And I think at some point we are going to want to sell titanium system casing. I don't, I don't know if it's very good. It seems like it would be, but this is fine. Uh, because there's no other store nearby, we are going to shield up a little bit, and we still have 50 scrap. Uh, that'll probably give us our next level of hacking. I do want to get third level hacking, just because if we can take down their shields really, really well in like that flagship fight, for example. It's an asteroid field. I really don't want to deal with asteroid fields. Uh, I didn't even power up the, the shields yet, but I still don't want to deal with asteroid fields if possible. We're going to fight these mercenaries. They're going to have some kind of drone. They fired it. Oh, it's a system repair drone. Whatever. You're going to need it after I get through with you. Um, so they have a, a pretty substantial laser shot here, so I might as well bait out the first shot from the beam and the laser. And then we'll just, um, you know, ah, they still managed to hit once, much to my surprise. We do only have a 90% chance to dodge. I mean, that's still pretty darn good, but uh, wind cloaked, I should say. We have a 90% chance to dodge. Still pretty darn good, but it's okay. Um, I think we can hit oxygen, weapons, shields, medbay. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's going to cause them some problems. Ah, wow, never mind. Maybe it'll just kill them in one hit. Much to my surprise. More, uh, more scrap for us. Still don't want to go to that asteroid field, even though I'm pretty sure we would tear whoever we came across apart. And I'm starting to dig this uh, this stealth cruiser run we've got going on here. Two, two fuel for two drone parts. Can't take that offer at all. And I can't really afford to spend very much fuel, so we'll just go to this Mantis controlled sector. And, you know, I mean, I know we're on easy, but I am liking the stealth ship. But do keep in mind that we got uh, a free Zoltan energy shield. Crazy useful. We were able to buy shields on, like, the first sector. Um, I believe that they're gonna, they're not gonna try to board us, which is a huge mistake on their part. We're gonna let their laser hit, and then we're gonna cloak out of the way of their missile if they manage to get one in here. We might as well fire our, our dual laser in. Doesn't really make a difference for now. So by all means, hit us with that, uh, hit us with that shitty laser a couple more times. We just want to dodge the missile. And it is now firing, so we'll do that. And now that that is missed, it is our time to recover. And we'll cut through their shields as if they weren't even there, like so. And that is always what I like to see. So we're still going to have to wait for our next shot to come in. And as you can see, like the more shields the enemy has, the worse it's going to be for us. Um, it, it's going to be more tedious for us to, to get through. That being said, uh, small bomb might not be the weapon we want. Almost like a kind of a shitty ion might actually be like the best thing that we could hope for. So let's just, uh, they have one bar of shields technically, we'll basically do exactly the same thing we did earlier again. Really don't want their missile launcher to come back online, or them to be alive at all. So, uh, we're flush with scrap right now. But we do need to find another store, we need to buy fuel again. Um, when we get to the next sector, we won't need to buy fuel. They have three bars, a missile launcher, some lasers. This might be a good opportunity to test this. Let's, let's, uh, send this in and start hacking them maybe a little bit. It's just a test. So we'll hack them, and then um, we'll see if we can take down a couple bars of shields. Now it doesn't look like, with first level hacking, that doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Uh, I forgot to, to dodge. I will, or cloak, I should say. I'll cloak my way out of this missile. 92% dodge chance now. Alright, here's what, the moment of truth. We need to hit their engines here. Preferably piloting system and engine, but that's not going to be possible. So, um, we'll go weapon systems, engine, shields, oxygen. Like so. And it didn't, it just delayed the FTL. It didn't stop the FTL. Now that they only have two bars of shields, though, we can hack. And when the hack comes in, our dual lasers can actually get around and maybe take out their piloting system. Uh, it, it, it's going to delay it again. They've teleported onto the ship. I'm going to try to close that guy inside of this door. There we go. We'll make, we'll make him work for it, at least. So, as usual, we're just going to close in everybody who... Uh, we need, and when the glaive beam is ready again, that will be the end of their existence, I think. But let's uh, land again, basically the same shot right here. Yeah, they're dead. And we are, we're gonna have to deal with this shit, but whatever. It okay? You should just get out of there before you die. And we can just wait on this one. Two hundred and fifty-one scrap is crazy, genuinely. Uh, but yeah. Oh wait, who's almost dying? Oh shit! You were not. Can you make it? 
You can do it. I believe I can breathe. Oh. I didn't close off the proper amount of doors, so I think I may actually lose two crew members just to be in the world's biggest asshole. Luckily, we have a lot of crew members, but yeah, that was that was really stupid of me. Like, like sincerely, incredibly dumb of me to just lose two crew members to being a big idiot. So we'll let this guy die. I guess, I mean, they didn't really get the last laugh because they're also already dead. But um, suffice it to say, I'm not very pleased with the way that I handled that situation. That is prone to happen to me in, in FTL from time to time. After people get healed up, we'll, we'll, let's just see. There's no store nearby. So actually, I'm just going to take um, like one. There we go. So we can get third level of hacking. That'll make things much better for us. Um, and when these guys get healed up, we'll send everybody where they need to go. And we'll see who is um, who's in a non-essential area. So we definitely need... Uh, you're the you're not the pilot. You should be back here. You're going to be our engines personnel now. Cuz we need one. And you we do still have basically one spare crew member who's only good at repairing. Do we it's better to have second level of sensors, second level of doors than to have um first level of sensors, third level of doors, I think. So, this is fine. Uh we are going to aid the civilian ship for sure. I imagine we'll probably get boarded here. Let's try not to fuck it up by being too fancy like I did before. And again, we can uh, do ourselves a favor and maybe cloak out of, um... Are, is the NG gonna... No, they're not gonna actually board us. We can cloak out of that boarding, if possible, but... This is fine. So what do we do here? We, um... Do that. We hack them. We cloak. That'll cause that to miss, thankfully. We, we actually lost 5% dodge chance by being in this position. Now we can actually just land some early shots on their, uh... Weapons as a result of our, our hack going through. And our glade beam's about to be ready. I think I'm going to use it right away, even though it's slow. I think it's it's smart to use it right away. And we can hit so many useful systems here. Just like that. Yeah, that's a good one right there. All right, so everything that they love is uh, is now a, a whimsical dream to them. The, their energy is going to get their weapons back online. We still have full Zoltan energy shield, by the way, which is wonderful. Just waiting for the Glaive Beam to come back. This is obviously like the high-risk, high-reward part of this, is that... Um, if we fuck up that glaive beam, we, we find ourselves in a very difficult position. But if we don't fuck up the glaive beam, then their lives are basically ruined. So, that seems to be the right way to handle that, and they're dead. Glaive beam just does such ridiculous damage, too. Alright, so the civilians jumped away. That doesn't really help me out very much. Can you... Yeah, we can still get back over here, so I think this is worth a try. I don't know if we have a flagship-worthy win here, but, um... Certainly seems pretty okay, to me at least. Let's see if this coffee is a drinkable temperature. Inside of here, we have um, we have no augments. We have mind control. I really just don't think I can afford to pick up. Um, breaching requires three. Fire beam requires two. I don't. I think we need like a one level ion. Um, we have anything to sell? Not yet. I don't think we need, really need to buy any more mantis crew members. <sighs> so this is fine. I'm okay with this right now. We'll try to get out of here. I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, I think we have a good ship. I don't know if it's a, a winning run, but I think it could be. So they're going to try to get away. They have like a beam two here. I think the best thing to do, since they only have two bars of shields, is, uh, yes, hack the shields. And the reason we do this uh, is so that dual lasers can come in and quickly do some damage to some important subsystems. And we can cloak our way out of these shots, but I don't think there's much need to. So we're going to just hit the piloting system, lower their dodge chance. Oh, snap, they missed twice. That's not very good. Um, but yeah, I want to take out something so that I can actually, uh, so that I can actually stop them from getting away. Let's try this with our glaive beam now. Uh, yeah, that that should stop them from FTLing at all. Now we will cloak out of this because our shields are actually hurt. Just waited for them to take two shots, um, and I really don't want to shoot out of this yet. I want to wait for our shields to come back off that ion damage, and they have now. And then we'll fire on their weapons. Thank God we didn't miss. I guess we have basically a 0% chance to miss. So that's good. Uh, and you know what? We might as well hack the shields again. Get a uh, useful drone taken out. Like so. And uh, then Glaive Beam will come in. So it was a little harrowing, but whatever. What's done is done. Problem solved. 148 scrap is very good. When I see ships now, I'm not afraid of them anymore because it's very easy for us to just get around them. We'll just take the free scrap, though. Not just get around, but to, to kill them, let's be honest. And a distress beacon means potential high risk, high reward, of course. We'll lead them to their destination. 
34 free scrap, if nothing else. Where's the quest beacon? Ah, perfect. So I'm glad I did this. We may have some combat here, but that's okay. Upgraded the reactor by one is actually awesome. That gives us that uh, passive extra 5% chance. I kind of just want to hit the distress beacon here. They might, or sorry, hit the exit beacon. They might be able to actually catch up to us if I didn't do that, so... Happy I did. Let's inquire about their specialty. Offer to upgrade sensors for 42. Sure. Why not? Go nuts. We... I, I still don't know, actually. I think we would have been able to hit the distress beacon, but it was so close. So we're moving on to Sector 7. Uh, I think third bar of shields is something that I definitely want to get up, and... I mean, it's it's a weird one because I would really love to get that small bomb up, but I'd really love it more if the small bomb didn't exist and we had something better. They have two pages. Page two is stealth weapons. We need it. So that's number one priority, even though I did see some ions. So we're going to sell a titanium system casing, not long range scanners. Mm, I don't know. People told me that titanium system casing isn't very good, but its sell value is so high that it seems like it would be, right? Long range scanners are not going to be that useful anymore. I think. Maybe we'll sell them instead. And we'll buy up, uh... Buy up stealth weapons. Hacking stun. All crew inside a room during a hacking pulse will be stunned. Eh. Stealth weapons, though, is super important. And then we do have a heavy ion that requires two power. I think that's what we want. Burst laser one requires two power. Charge laser requires two power. Sure. We'll buy the heavy ion. I don't know if we need the fuel, but we'll buy it anyway. And now, um... That means that we're actually gonna end up selling this small bomb. Yeah, it means we're going to sell the small bomb. Like so. Put heavy eye on... No, don't sell that. Don't sell that. Just go back to the ship instead. That could have been a terrible disaster. Now we need to upgrade our weapon power, and I think we need to upgrade it even by uh, by two. Which is going to cost us 165 total. But it should be very doable. The other thing we want is... Um, oh, we, can't, we have to go through the nebula. The other thing we want is we need to get that third level of shields. And that's gonna. This is gonna require a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of reactor power, stuff like that. But that's okay. So we're gonna hack shields here. We hack shields right off the bat every single time. Long range scanners don't. Did long range scanners allow us to see weapon charges? Oh no, that would have been the next level of sensors. Okay, that's that's correct. So we're just gonna have to pay attention and uh, get ready to to know when to dodge their shots. Basically, we'll land in a dual laser on their weapons. At least it took out their laser. We still have the Zoltan energy shield to protect us against the bombs. One of them might have missed anyway. They're right there. Uh, and Glaive Beam is about to come through, so here's what we do. Just make sure we uh, take a couple of shots there, then Glaive Beam can hit everything. Yeah, that's good enough. That might kill them. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's that's really nice. We didn't even take any damage to our energy shields and 53 scrap. Good news, there's another store. Uh, I could probably skirt my way around this nebula. It's gonna be close, but I do think it's best to avoid this store and then skirt our way around the nebula. Now that we have stealth weapons, I guess I might as well cloak, right? There's no reason not to. Um, and we'll, we'll hack their shields again. They're gonna try to hack us in all likelihood, so... Might as well cloak, like, right now, and then hack the shields, and then we'll just do a laser on the weapons, I guess? Seems reasonable. Both of them hit, that's gonna take something offline, that's gonna make it very difficult for them to do any damage to us at all. Maybe we should do it on the shields, I don't know, but Glaive Beam goes through shields anyway to, to some extent, so it seems like it's not that important to make sure that you're knocking that out, so... I mean, we still have energy shields, so I think taking out their shield is more important, so that our... Oh, there is like one point here where we can hit that section. Oh, it's a thin one. There we go. Um, this way, uh, basically Glaive Beam softens them up, and then the dual lasers will knock them out. That's my, my, my dream, my hope and dream. And it's working out nicely so far. Our energy shields are still completely up, so, um, this seems like it's really bad for their business. Oh, they did fire something at us there. It was a hacking part. Best of luck to you. Little too little too late there. Little too little too late there. So, what, what comes next? That comes next. So now we actually can get heavy ion working just by depowering something. Uh, and what is the heavy ion? It's it's going to do two ion damage per shot. Charges relatively quickly. So we're going to use this in conjunction with dual lasers and hacking to really neutralize an enemy shield or an enemy weapons. And uh, in doing so, that's going to soften them up for the glaive beam and maybe keep their weapons offline a little longer. Especially now that we have stealth weapons. So we're going to aid the Federation ship here. I can see everything. That, oh, they should do. They have a Vulcan. Okay. But they only have two shield power. So I, I guess. Do I want to hack their. 
I think it makes more sense to hack shields still. Um, and when that Vulcan starts to get charged up, actually, you know, even right now, we're just going to do that. And uh, go stealth so their Vulcan doesn't get a chance to charge. Vulcan, doubtlessly one of the scariest items in the game, by the way. But give it a second here. Let's see if Heavy Ion hits. Doesn't actually matter right now. There we go. That'll take that Vulcan offline. Now they only have a shitty bomb. Best of luck to you uh, in that endeavor. And we're going to see uh, we'll fire dual, dual lasers on them anyway. Uh, do some ion damage to the shields. Yes, indeed we did. And then completely uh, screw them right here with weapons, oxygen, shields, and all that other good stuff. In many ways, I, I'm kind of disappointed because I wish dual laser charged up fast enough to uh, actually... Or sorry, I wish heavy ion charged up fast enough to kind of work better in conjunction with the dual lasers, but it doesn't really seem to. It's okay. Um, we can hack their, their shield system here, which we might as well. I don't see why not. They're not going to be able to offer very much. I'm not even using the Glaive Beam at this point, because it's like, what's the point? There is none. 66 scrap, and the Federation has given us a quest marker, which is going to be very tricky to get to with the fleet so close behind, but it's nice to know that they're, they've at least got, you know, their eyes on the prize. There's an extra 55 scrap basically for free. What comes next? That comes next, so we depower engines one more, and that'll give us our third bar of shields. So we've we've accomplished basically everything I wanted to do on this sector. What the fuck happened here? Um, so the power's not in a good position. Oxygen needs to be powered on. Let's be honest about that. We can depower the heavy ion and put oxygen on. Cloaking's not working. Hacking's not working. But the glaive beam works. I don't know how this is gonna go. Do they even do they have weapons coming? I would love to still be able to cloak my way out of these missiles, but I don't know if that's going to be plausible. Alright, they missed, thankfully. Um, I almost feel like let's depower dual lasers and we'll get one level of cloaking. And the next time they take a crazy shot at me, which is soon. Oh, wait. There we go. That's the one. 90%. Good, good, good. Uh, now we can use our glaive beam and just tear them apart. So that was a, a weird fight. This is going to put us in a much better position, though. And now I think we can almost just go heavy ion dual lasers, and uh, we'll just auto-fire the heavy ion. And one more glade beam would tear them apart, so this might be me being a little bit too creative, if you will. Which I think was always my problem in school as well. Let's see if the heavy ion hits. It does. Um, let's take out their weapons. Two missile launchers is annoying. And it still is. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get hit here. Or our energy shield's down, so the next time they shoot, we're gonna have to get ready to cloak. Uh, take out weapons again. Okay, wait, they're probably going to shoot another one. Let's get Glade Beam active, man. There we go. Miss. That one hit. They, I only had an 80% chance to, to dodge that one. We got to jump the hell out of here, man. This sector sucks all of the things. Jump. Uh, Yeah, we'll go to this one instead. Please don't be... Okay, this is only a, a different danger. And we actually got a crew member as a result of this one. So he's going to become like a mobile repair person for us. Is it an NG who's a good fighter? Fantastic. Do we have a good engine personnel? No. So, engine personnel, you're going to go in here, actually, and... Actually, you know what? You're going to be on doors. Why wouldn't I put you on doors get a third-level door person? Uh, this is going to be a weird one. It's going to be an interesting, interesting game ahead of us, I think. Power up. Power up. And power up. And we need one more power, so power down. And, oh, two power, actually. So we need some more reactor power. It's going to be an interesting fight against the flagship. I'm so tempted to go to that quest beacon. I just don't know if it's possible. All right, so this is a more traditional fight. I'm much happier about this. They're going to try to get away. They have a drone defense drone, so we can't fire drones against them. Does hacking work? This is a good time to get, gather some information, I think. No, hacking uh, will not work. Thanks for asking. So we should uh, do a little of that. Might as well cloak right now. They're gonna, They're just trying to get away. So, oh my god, the hacking drone actually hit. Okay, go go nuts then. The ion missed. Oh, we hit their drone, actually. That might kill it, to be honest with you. Uh, and then we'll go on, like, engines, or uh, we'll go on pilot just to try to keep them at bay. Oh, that's good, that's good. Glaive beam's almost ready. There's the glaive beam. Oh, here it is. I really thought that they were going to get away and we wouldn't have much chance to... <laughs> I'm always surprised by how quickly the glaive beam just destroys everything in its path. One, two, three, four. I don't think we're going to be able to get back in four. So I think we'll just do one of these bad boys and then get back to the exit beacon as soon as we can. Of course, at this point, we will intervene to defend the outpost because 
you know, it has to be quite a crazy, um, a, quite a crazy ship to actually get around us at this point. Might as well hack their shields, there's no reason not to. Wait till the flat cannon fires, along with their other weapons, and then we'll cloak out of that to just get a, a free damage in, basically. Hack the bone here, and we'll wait till dual lasers is ready to go. Dual lasers will go on piloting, just so we don't miss with our ions. Or we're less likely to miss with our ions, and their shields are completely out, so... Basically the same layout uh, on a ship as last time. Good enough! Unless you have like a thousand hull uh, help, that's not gonna help you. I wonder if we, health I should say, I wonder if we uh, got closer to unlocking another layout for this uh, cruiser. Gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda digging the stealth cruiser now. I mean, we got a lot of good advantages and we're playing on easy, but still. Alright, so we're fighting a ship. It looks like a ship that is gonna be uh, wonderful to dodge. The cloaking is gonna piss them off, if I had to guess. So if I could just, let's let them fire twice here. There we go. That's that's when the cloak should come in. Um, dual lasers can actually dual damage to them here. That was not a, a misspeaking. It was not a speech error. Might as well get our dodge chance a little higher. Glade beam's ready to go. Let's just see if heavy ion lands first. It does. And uh, this is quite a difficult ship layout for them to repair. And actually rock plating apparently is very, very good. And we're gonna hit oxygen here just to fuck with this mantis. It's gonna take him forever to repair that. Um, but yeah, um, rock plating is apparently a very good defense against the glaive beam. Who knew? Probably a lot of people, but not me. Let's take out their teleporter so they can't come over here as things continue to get very real for them. We still have one bar of Zoltan plating, so I'm not feeling too nervous about things. Let's hit their shields again. Just in time for glaive beam to pretty much tear them apart, I think. Might want to hit weapons there just to be sure. That'll do it. Alright, so we're not quite at the exit yet. We got one more beacon to go, another 36 scrap. Not enough power for what? Game? We probably would have been able to make it to that quest beacon, to be honest with you. So, uh, we can just jump to the, the very final sector here, the last stand, and... If nothing else, I, I realize that this is on easy, but I'm pleased with the performance that we've had so far. Basically our first time taking a real crack at this ship. Uh, I was just waiting to see if there's a store, but probably... We need two bars of reactor power, so let's... Get that sorted out for the hacking. And then we only have one more bar of reactor power to go, and I think the only place to really put that is into our engines, so we'll get that uh, extra dodge chance there. And what's our dodge chance passively now? 42, which will be 102 when we cloak. This is pretty good. We're trying to get to that base as soon as possible. I think we've got a chance. I think we do have a chance. The cloaking is going to be super useful. Really just need the glaive beam to come in like right off the bat. So heavy ion is going to go on shields. You know what? Hacking is going to go on shields as well. And we, remember, we just wait until they fire as many shots as they can. And that's when we uh, we go to town. So here comes a one shot. So we're going to cloak out of those. And everything that they fired at us actually missed. And dual lasers are just about ready to go. So we're going to land those on their weapons. Ah, took something out. And glaive beam is almost ready to go. And the hacking is going to keep us alive here. Until the perfect time to strike and hit all of these rooms that are going to annoy the crap out of them. And we're still cloaked here, which is the, the beautiful part of this. Now they just have one laser active and we still haven't been touched. Ever. Below the waist. Uh, just give it a second. And then we'll get our dual laser going on the piloting system. Just so they have, they're have they all messed up with repairs now. Glade Beam's about ready to go again. They had one miss come in there. Bomb hit and our energy shields are almost down, but... Uh, you know, at least we're alive, which is more than you could say for one of the two people that was on the screen there. 162 scrap. This is kind of what I was hoping for. A store. If there is a pre-igniter, I think we can plan the victory parade, to be honest with you. Sultan Shield Bypass. Doesn't really do much for us, and long-range scanners we sold to get it. Um, you know, in a weird way, if we bought backup battery, we could do mind control as well. And we're not spending anything on anything else, so what I'm thinking is, like, we buy both of these... And uh, then if we pop the backup battery, which we should probably, in all honesty, uh, upgrade. Let's see. Um, backup battery. It costs 50. Sure. We'll upgrade it. That'll give us four extra power. That'll give me uh, a long time to use mind control for at least a little bit of the fight. And if we get the more scrap we get, we upgrade mind control. And then maybe we get to level three and we can have it going for like my 30 seconds of mind control is pretty good. It's also, you know, a band. Uh, let's land this here. But I've got to remember to use it. And we, I guess we might as well test it out now, just to get in the, the habit. So we'll use backup battery, power it up. And then, um, dude who is in the weapons room. Sorry about your loss here. This is going to be a bad day for you. So we will hack through the, um, we'll get ready for the cloak. 
Oh, we don't need it yet. Now we'll hack. I heard some missiles fire and some lasers. So now's the cloak. I clicked the wrong button, but they all missed anyway. All right, so dual lasers are ready to go on weapons. Lots of crew dying in here. Glade beam's so close. Get ready to cloak. And uh, glade beam's going now. This could kill them in one hit because they have no shields. Here we go. Ooh, got really close. They still have a fire going here. I wouldn't get too cocky. Oh, that big miss from me. I'll admit, big miss from me. And the battery was still active there, so we can get quite a long mind control. I mean, it's not as good as if we had the actual power to run it, but we can't actually get the power to run it because we have cloaking, hacking, etc., etc. That's enough scrap uh, for sure for us to get up to the, the max level of mind control. And if we jump to here, we can actually fight the first level of the Rebel flagship. So let's make this happen, shall we? This is an exciting one. We will pause immediately. And uh, you know what? We might as well wait for their first shot to come in before we cloak. That's my philosophy on things. We'll have a above 100% chance to dodge. Hacking's gonna go on shields, no question about it. I didn't mean to hit cloaking there, that was stupid. Hacking goes on shields. Uh, backup battery, power up the mind control unit three times. Mind control unit will go on um, the missile man to keep those missiles out of there. And now we will just start uh, really harping on this like heavy ion dual laser combo here just to soften them up long enough for the glaive beam to come in and uh, and really do a number on them. So we might be able to actually take out their shields here. That's good. They're, the shields are coming back. Come on, heavy ion. Don't don't do me dirty like this. Oh, they they've shielded again. That's okay. Zoltan energy shield still protected. So we have a glaive beam ready. Here come the missiles. We can't cloak out of the way. That's fine. They're gonna come back in a second. They're hacking. They hacked our sensors. That's okay. That's okay. They're gonna come out of cloak, and they did. So uh, our hack is not ready yet, but it will be in a second. Dual lasers go. Uh, glaive beam's gotta go now. We gotta take those missiles offline, and if we could really neuter those shields, that'd be even better. That is, that's gonna take the missiles offline. That's something. Now we're gonna hack the shields down, and we're gonna do that. Uh, backup battery's not quite up yet. We're gonna get ready to cloak, too. That's nothing to sneeze at. What do we take out next? Uh, I think we take out their cloaking system, so they can't... Yes! Okay, it's on fire. That's good. This is a, we haven't taken very much hull damage. You've taken some system damage, but not very much hull damage. Here comes ions. So I'm gonna just dodge out of the way of those. 102% chance is good enough by my standards. Wait for the heavy ion to hit. It doesn't. Dual lasers go. Good enough. Glade beam's ready again. Okay. Now we still want to keep those missiles offline and hurt all the crew that are in here. So we're gonna go like this. And there we go. And you know what? You can actually also back up battery, mind control, mind control in the shield room. Just to fuck with those shields and continue taking out the, the missiles. So they're losing some more crew members. They're in kind of disarray right now. Keep it up. Good, we've, we've hurt the shields again. Can't cloak for a little while longer. Uh, hacking can go though. And they're in, a, they're in a real rough spot here. Very bad things just happened to that rebel flagship. That was good. The little, there, were, there were moments there that did not look like they'd be amazing. But we figured it out. We don't need to repair. And this is going to be an interesting one, too. So, the thing is, we can't shoot in a drone unit until we, uh, or a hacking unit until we kill this defense drone. Let's take a second and think about things. Mind control has to go up. Like so. Who do we mind control? Um, I still like the idea, at first, of mind controlling missile, missile man? I don't know what to call him. Uh, and and we heavy ion forever on shields, and all we need is one glaive beam. If we live till the first glaive beam comes in, that's that's the most important thing. You know what? Let's cloak our way right now, just so that these beam drones can't do shit to our energy shields, and hopefully we can survive a little bit longer and do worse stuff to them later. So their defense drone should shoot down. If we hack at the same time that we shoot a uh, a drone, or sorry, we shoot the lasers, we might be okay. Okay, heavy ion hits. This is an important moment. Hack, dual lasers. Here it comes. Good enough for the glade beam to come in here and start taking them out. So yes, it would be nice to take out the drone control unit, but stick with what works for now. Shields and uh, missiles and the pilot system. There we go. Their missiles are offline. That's an important moment for us. Hack our hacking system obviously got shot down. They have a ton of drones on the field right now, and they've actually boarded us in our shield room 
Uh, which means we have no mantises. We Both of our mantises died? Alright, door personnel and uh, sensor personnel, you're getting in here. Now, we have to get, pay attention to some things. Backup battery's not ready. Mind control stopped working. Dual laser and heavy ion can work well in conjunction with one another, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be real close. Nothing's coming offline yet, so we just wait. Wait for the glaive beam. Keep it, it's scary, yes, but just keep it up. We'll send our... We'll, we'll get this shit repaired as soon as possible, obviously. Hacking is not gonna work yet. Cloaking's about to go, though. What does the power surge do? It's a lot of drones, right? Is that how that works? Glade Beam's not quite ready. But one second, dual lasers. Glade Beam is now ready. Gotta take out that missile. Good news! Uh, someone's almost dead. We do have a Mantis crew member. You have to get into the med bay. And we have to power up the med bay. Oh, something just went off. It was heavy ion. Could be worse. So we're gonna cloak. We, we, we need some time. Things need to get fixed up here. Okay, shields are fixed. Everyone go back to your rooms. Except you, Mantis. And you, Fairy. You are gonna be in our med bay. Like so. Um, backup battery goes up. Get shields up. Mind control can work. Uh, we're gonna mind control... The, uh, shield personnel for now. This is alright. This is okay. In fact, Mantis, you should actually get into the med bay too. I'm trying to see what I should do now. Um, Heavy Ion can come back online and we'll set that to auto fire. Keep it going for now. Hacking still doesn't work. They're fighting each other. This is always great news. And we're gonna be, we're gonna come back basically just in time to fire a glaive beam. I think. Oh, okay, so they boarded us again in our weapons room this time. Have to take care of that ASAP. That NG's not gonna be able to do too much. Dual laser comes in on the shields. And then glaive beam again on this awful, awful system here. Hey, okay, second phase done. That's great news. More scrap. Could use a repair this time, let's be honest. But I think we're, we're gearing up for a possibly successful run here. Now, medbay's still powered. Everybody who is anybody that needs help, get in there. Ryan, you get in there. Rise of the Rockman should be piloting. I, that's something I've messed up here. Uh, okay, so let's, let's just see everyone in the med bay. Where are you supposed to go? Williams, are you no? Because this person's better at engines. Liam, Liam's on engines. Where's our other NG? Angie? Angie's gonna okay. Mantis, are you on shields? Let's just let's do process of elimination. Fairy, you are uh, probably sensors or doors, which means that. Ryan, who is this person, is the other one, because we had humans on those, I think. And then our Mantis is on shields. Is that reasonable? Yeah, it is. It's bad, but it's reasonable. Okay, uh, close all doors. Get ready. There is a repair beacon close by. There's a store, I should say. Can I jump twice and still get back? I can jump once, consequence free. This is not consequence free because we have a, a ship to deal with here, but we'll cloak for a second. And that'll give us, oh, we should definitely power up a uh, backup battery. Then get heavy ion and uh, shields working. And engines. And we'll mind control them. Um, but yeah, um, just take a second here. Hopefully we get the power to drive away. Otherwise, maybe I've made a terrible mistake, but we can also fight them probably pretty easily. We did just beat the second phase of the flagship, taking like three hull damage, so. Hack through that. Heavy eye on the shit out of them. Um, just give it a second here. I'm worried about the ASB more than anything else. Okay, so let's try this. Like that. Looks like fighting them might actually be the fastest course of action. Uh, the ASB just tore a breach through us there, though. It's okay. We still have the energy shield for everything else. There's MasterCard. We could jump. I still kind of want to jump, to be honest with you. Fuck the rewards. Store. It's, I don't think it's worth going to the store to heal, to be honest with you. I think it's better to just go fight the Rebel Flagship right away. So our cloaking's gonna be offline for a second. They have a Zoltan Energy Shield, though, so... What happens here? Let's look at our power. Medbay doesn't have to be powered up. Heavy Ion does have to be powered up. So typically what we're gonna do there is just keep Mind Control at level 1. Backup Battery. Mind Control can't go through Zoltan Shield anyway, so let's not use our Backup Battery yet. Heavy Ion, Dual Lasers. Get ready to go. Hacking will not go through the energy. Super shield pre prevents hacking. Okay, that's fine. So w what do we do now? We get ready to cloak the fuck out of the way of their lasers. Give it a second here. There's three coming in. We might as well cloak there. We have stealth weapons, so no big deal. Wait for the ions to hit. Take down the super shield, man. 
Take down the super shield. No mind control yet. Oh, good misses. Okay, phase shift. I don't know if maybe we unlocked the layout B there that time. Come on, take out the super shield, you ding-dongs. Here come three missiles. That's not good. Uh, we only got hit by two of them, which is actually fine. Glaive beam comes in. Okay, now we hacked their shields because the glaive beam actually could be amazing here. Backup battery. Get mind control working. Mind control the missile launcher, asshole. Hack the shit out of the shields. Wait for them to get down and then glaive beam. Wait for them to get down and then glaive beam. We can't cloak out of this one. Wait a second. Okay, glaive beam can go now. <laughs> it's not the best opportunity. But I'm just relying on us to hopefully not get hit by like a couple missiles here. Okay, what, what went down? Shields went down. Okay, lots of things went into trouble there. You should be in the weapons room. Pause it. Pause it. Don't freak out. You're still okay. Open this up. Engines obviously have to get repaired. Mind control, less of an issue. Shields have to get up. We can cloak in just a second here. And we're going to. That still hit us probably because I didn't do it in time. This is going to be a close battle here. These engines are, are getting kind of fucked. Um, but as long as our weapons are online, that's that's what's important. It's okay. Heavy ion. Keep hitting. We just need like two more glaive beams. Angie's in a bad position. Come on, you two ding-dongs here. Get it fixed up. And we're getting ready to... Oh, I was cloaked that time. Okay, I didn't think I was cloaked actually. So it's okay. And then glaive beam again. Really can't let those missiles hit us. Oh, and their shields are hurting. Engines are in a bad place. This would be a great time to have a cloak. There's like 10 shots coming in and we have a 15% dodge chance. Oh, uh, not, not the most terrible things to get hit if something's going to get hit. We really only need one more glaive beam to come in. Go on shields. Keep them out. Good. Hack the shields. This ship is not going to make it back, but neither is theirs. Three hits, we can't cloak. Yet. Now we can. Okay. Dual lasers. You can kill them right here. We did it. All right. Uh, wasn't an easy one, but I beat the game of the stealth cruiser. Made some mistakes. And we've, we've unlocked some new chips, maybe. Thanks to the valiant effort of Hollow Man. 3,142 is the best we've ever done with that ship. Uh, and we did unlock the B layout, I guess, too, then. And uh, that doesn't even rank on the top 10, but or the top 5, I should say. But I'm very pleased with that. Let's check out uh, the hangar now. If I look at our list. Oh, the, the stealth cruiser is separate from everything else, so the victory doesn't even matter. But um, what's the? let's look at the B layout, then. We still need to win with the Zoltan cruiser, which is kind of comical at this point. But B layout, stealth cruiser type B. Just starts with a glaive beam and nothing else but cloaking. That's kind of cool, actually. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you liked uh, part one and part two, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, uh, I'm going to go prepare for the NLSS. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.